Today is all about the anatomy of a crochet stitch and how to make small adjustments to your stitching to create textures and structure without having to learn a new stitch. Ashley and welcome to this tutorial. I call myself a jack of all crafts because I am just delusional enough to try anything. And usually I can figure it out. But today is all about crocheting in this tutorial with the second episode in my series of crocheting basics. But real quick, while I get organized here, take a second to subscribe to my channel. Every week I post new DIY tutorials and I always share the secrets that have helped me seem like a pro way before I was one. Oh, did I say get organized? I meant drink wine. When I first started crocheting, I was just trying to do my best to follow along with patterns and tutorials. And I'm really not a pattern follower, so really most of what I did wasn't that great. But then during my DIY sabbatical, AKA my 43 days of hospital bed rest with Fox, I had the time to really stop and understand how a crochet stitch is made and how altering small things within a stitch can add a ton of texture and variation to the look of your project. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Let's get started with the loops. There are two loops to each stitch, a front loop and a back loop. And in any basic crochet pattern or stitch, you're always gonna go through both loops as you execute your stitch. You can see with this regular old double crochet stitch that I am consistently picking up both loops with every stitch. But going through just one of the stitches, the front or the back, will actually create a different look. And that's how you can create a ribbed look or it's a great way to edge a basket or anything that you wanna give a little added structure to in a specific area. For example, whenever I make any kind of basket, like a little nesting box, I always crochet through just the back loop in the row where I start bringing my sides up. And that creates a nice little ridge right at the base. To go through just one loop, you crochet as you would any other way, but only pick up either the front loop or the back loop with your hook. Here I'm doing single crochets, but instead of going through both, I'm just going right through that back loop yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through both my loops. Again, just through that back loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through both loops. And it's starting to create a great ribbed effect as I go. And you can also crochet through just the front loop like this. Another important part of a crochet stitch is the post. Some patterns will call for you to go around the front post or the back post. Because the stitch is being formed in front of or behind your last row, it creates a raised area on one side of your project. You can get a much more pronounced ribbing effect by crocheting around the post, and it's also used a lot of times where you need a raised area in something like a cable stitch or a waffle stitch. I'm doing a double crochet here, but instead of going through the loops, I'm going to go around the post from the front. You're going to be inserting your hook in the row below, under the loops and to the right of that post. Yarn over, put your hook through, come back up through your work on the other side of the post, yarn over, pull all the way through, now yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, just like with a normal double crochet. Again, yarn over, go through to the right and back up, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through the last two. You can also do this from the back of the post. This time yarn over and insert your hook from behind your work over the post and back through. Grab your yarn, pull it through, and then finish it like you would a normal double crochet. Come from behind, push it through, Pick up your yarn, pull it all the way through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And my favorite way to use the post when I crochet is to create ribbing. To do that, alternate doing a front post stitch and then a back post stitch. It's 
It's really good to understand the anatomy of a crochet stitch so that you can understand what a pattern is referring to when it says to go through only the front loop or around the back post. And for me, even more so than understanding a pattern, it's been a great way to know exactly how to alter a stitch and how to add texture to get a specific effect when I'm creating something all of my own. If you liked this tutorial today and you think this information can help you as you crochet amazing things, then give this video a like too. Don't forget, this is the second episode in this series, so if you haven't watched the first one on basic stitches and my secrets to even edges, then go check that one out too. And come back soon because next time I'm going to show you the two stitches that you need to know to fit in with some of today's hottest trends. See you soon. Wait, that doesn't look right. What did I do? Oh well. Maybe I should do a whole tutorial on how to not care when your projects don't turn out. The answer is wine.